All right, this is a short video on um, how to use ex, um, different functions in Excel, um, such as such as sorting and filtering. So if you go into your data, <clears throat> you can say, um, obviously that, sorry, I've got to select my range first. So say if I want to go in here and say, okay, I'm going to look at this whole table. It's not, it's not a huge table. Okay, and then say data, and then I want to sort it, and then um, my data does have header rows. So if it didn't have header rows, I could do, you know, I click it, that says I do have header rows. <coughs> Excuse me. And say I want to sort it by um, year. So we'll go into the date and service, oldest to newest, and say okay. That might have been how it already was sorted. So let's do it again. Let's, let's do something else. So let's say sort it. Um, and then my data has header rows. Let's sort it by asset um, type. So then now we've grouped it by our buildings, our furniture and fixtures, our um, improvements. Again, you could go back and say you want to sort it a different way. Go back and say, okay, now I want to sort it by asset tag. And then again, I think that is also kind of date sensitive. So then, and that might have been how it was in the first place. Um, so that, again, you could do that or say you want to say, okay, well, now I want to sort it by price. So my cost, I want my, I want my most expensive items to be first. So I'm going to go largest to smallest. So then now I see, okay, look, these buildings are the most expensive ones. So that's a way to kind of play around with it. You can also use that same data and say filter. And then you can say, okay, well, now maybe I only want to see my buildings. So I'm going to unselect all. I only want to see buildings. And then there they are. Okay, then again, that's not, you know, you don't have to further uh, go any further than that. But let's say we did improvements. Maybe there's more. There's not a ton more. Um, but, then, but then say if there was, and we said, okay, well, I only want to look at what's in 2019. So then I can again take that away. So this filter is still on, and then that's filtering it again. So you do have to be careful when you really start to drill down that you know what filters are on. So again, because I could go back and say, okay, now I want to take these all away. I want to select all, and I want to just look at um, the 2019. Notice that filter is still on. Um, what if I don't want, what if I want to look at 2018? So then I'm going to filter that. Um, so again, just always pay attention that you've got those filters on. Um, and then you can also go in and just say clear them so then you know they're gone. Um, but, but sometimes that's hard to just see. There's just a little bit of a, a slight, I'll do it again. There's a little slight difference in what it looks like. You know, it, it, it's showing you that it is filtered with that little, uh, I guess, filter symbol. Um, so just pay attention if you're doing that. But a lot of times when we're doing these data analytic problems, that's all it is, is, is sorting and filtering and just kind of getting it down to what the problem is asking for. So again, we want to be comfortable playing around with those types of things to be able to answer specific questions about a large group of data.